The word Balkan is Turkish and it means mountain. It will make more sense to you once you visit one Balkan country because they have spectacular countrysides and even most of the cities are surrounded by rugged peaks. So, if you're all about hiking, snowboarding, and outdoor adventures, you will have a wonderful time. Besides that, some of the world's oldest cities are Balkan, so their cities count with historical buildings and amazing architecture. This year, I had the opportunity to visit five Balkan countries. The Balkan countries include Albania, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Bulgaria, Croatia, Kosovo, Montenegro, North Macedonia, Romania, Serbia, and Slovenia. Greece and some parts of Turkey are also part of the Balkan Peninsula. However, their culture is more Mediterranean. Before I get into more details, let me ask you, if you had to visit just one of these countries, which one would you pick? Most of the people I know have gone to Croatia and loved it, but allow me to show you around. Albania is known as a country with striking landscapes and national parks, glorious beaches and very pretty historic towns and villages. A super plus is that Albania is great for budget travel because only a fraction of the crowds visit every year. I had the opportunity to visit Tirana, the capital of Albania. I was able to appreciate a colorful city full of life kind people, green spaces, delicious food, very big beer, and one of the only cities I've been to without a McDonald's, which I didn't miss, but I found that interesting. My top two experiences in Tirana include Visiting the Grand Park of Tirana, which I went to about four or five times. I really loved it. It's absolutely worth it. The second thing that was an amazing and memorable experience for me was hiking a mountain in the Lake Bovila. It included a road trip and I have all of the details on another video, so check that out. Montenegro is a must go. Even under COVID restrictions, Montenegro was one of my favorite places to visit this year. The Mediterranean breeze and food is like no other. I visited two cities and a national park. So starting with Kotor. Guys, this place is like a dream. It is more than 2,000 years old and yes, it is small, but you have everything you need in the old town of Kotor, including a great hike with ocean view. What a nice little village. Perast is just 13 minutes away from the old town of Kotor. It's an old town in the Bay of Kotor as well. Perast may be tiny, but it's a super cute village. You guys can't miss it. It has the most beautiful view and amazing food. Nico and I spent our anniversary here and it was so beautiful. Budva is just a 25-minute drive from Kotor. This old town is even older than Kotor. The city is the most visited destination in Montenegro as it counts with a coastal resort, beaches, and a vibrant nightlife. The old town is small but beautiful, with restaurants and boutiques selling luxury goods at high prices, so keep that in mind. Mausoleum of Petar II, Petrovic Nejos, is in the National Park Lovsen. 
This is about an hour drive up a serpentine mountain driveway, which was a little bit scary, but it was worth the risk. This trip was magical. Talking about old, Belgrade is seriously old. To say the least, this country and city has gone through a lot of wars and suffering, and they still stand tall and gracefully. I really enjoyed looking at the different buildings all over the city, the religious architecture, and the neighborhoods with its own distinct character. The prices of food and housing are definitely affordable, and the people here are known to know how to have fun. Finally, one of the prettiest things I've done this year was visiting the Belgrade Fortress. From what I've heard, Serbia is a nation full of epic mountains and stunning peaks. We didn't have the chance to do nature adventures, but if you do, don't miss it. Sofia is the capital of the Balkan nation of Bulgaria. This city is full of color and history as it reflects more than 2,000 years of history including Greek, Roman, Ottoman, and Soviet occupation. Guys, this was one of my favorite places in the Balkans. I cannot emphasize enough that you need to visit this city. I was in awe as I explored the streets aimlessly. There's something beautiful to see in every corner. The people were very nice and friendly, even when they didn't understand me, and the food was always good. I felt so safe and almost like I could blend in this city. So much that I even went out to party and it was awesome. And like most other Balkan destinations, when it comes to nature, Sofia is the place to be. The city is just a 15 minute drive away from Vistosha mountain, which is a combination of different mountains together. There is a ski resort that apparently has very affordable prices for skiing. And if you want to hike, the hike is about three and a half to four hours to get to the top. With Greece, I feel like there's going to be controversy, so I'd rather ask you for your opinion in the comments. I know that politically, economically, and culturally, there are grand differences between other Balkan countries and Greece. But geographically, there is a bond. If you're a Balkan, do you feel any type of connection with the Greeks? And if you're Greek, do you feel a bunch with the Balkans? Well, on another note, Athens is just an 8-hour drive from Sofia, which is amazing. We were actually supposed to fly to Romania instead to continue our Balkan exploration. However, they did not let me enter to the country due to COVID restrictions. Nonetheless, Greece is such a gem. Check out my video on 16 things to do in Athens. All right, now let me tell you about the Balkan countries that I haven't visited yet and why we should go. Oh, Romania, I'm so sad I couldn't make it because people talk wonders about you. 
You guys, I invite you to look up interesting facts about Romania because this country is really so, so special. See you soon, Romania. Our dearest Croatia is a favorite because it counts with wonderful climate, stunning nature and architecture, gorgeous beaches, delicious food, and preserved culture. Bosnia and Herzegovina are world famous for beautiful nature, medieval ruins, unique towns, waterfalls, and rivers. It's such a captivating and picturesque location. I don't know much about Slovenia, but according to theculturetrip.com, Slovenia is full of rich history and culture. There are also beautiful landscapes, and if there was one place I could go to would be Lake Bled. Have you ever been? Let me know in the comments. North Macedonia is another country that counts with beautiful lakes. There is hiking, skiing, kayaking, eating, and drinking. According to the World Atlas website, Kosovo is the third poorest country in Europe. It is also one of the least developed areas in the Balkans. Nonetheless, the people here are known to be super friendly and hospitable. Kosovo counts with caves, lakes, mountains, beautiful waterfalls, and even a canyon. William Blake said, Great things are done when men and mountains meet. If the mountains, rivers, beaches, culture, history, peaceful landscapes, good food are calling you, then you won't regret traveling the Balkan Peninsula. So let me ask you, out of all the Balkan countries we talked about, which one would you like to go to?